Hi there, and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. You know, I'm often asked, what's the secret to a successful, well-run household? And I say I don't know. Um, but I've got a letter this morning that's come through from someone called Nick, and it says, Steve, how do you make your easy liver and bacon casserole? Well, Nick, just for you, here's a little video showing you my secret recipe. It really is very simple. First of all, you get some potatoes. Now, here's some I've chopped up. Look, they're all sliced nice and thin. And we're gonna put them into layers into our slow cooker. I've just burnt my finger on it. Right, okay, so there we are, a little fan full of potatoes. I'm gonna put some on the bottom. Then I'm going to get my liver from Morrison's. As you can see, it's in the packet still, so it's not being cooked or anything at all. I'm opening it and I am pouring it in. That's the liver in. And because it's liver and bacon casserole, I've also got some bacon, also from Morrison's. This was two for three pounds. So, Nick, I believe you've got a rather big family, so you may need to use both packs for this. Try not to wave the knife around, you might hurt yourself. So, a little arty feature I have. You could, if you wanted to, roll the bacon up and then pop it in. I don't know why I've started doing a funny accent. So, there you go. We're just chucking it into the slow cooker. I'm doing this. It's just coming up for five past eight. So. The kids have had their breakfast, they're just having a little bit of television time before they go to school. So it's it's a little bit of quiet time for me in the morning before the madness of the day starts. And we'll be eating this about 4.30, 5 o'clock this evening. So it's just going to go on a low setting and cook for the whole day. And there we go, just put the last of these bits of bacon in. Set that down the corner. Okay, now, I've also got some onion. I've chopped a couple of onions up. As you can see, they're all nicely chopped, so I'm just going to toss those in. And then get the rest of my potatoes. That's it, all nicely chopped. It's all in the preparation, Nick. Push them over the top and down the side. Oh, it's not very thin. Live chopping there for you. Bada ding, bada bong. And we literally have this when it's cooked as it is. It's got the vegetables in there, it's got the meat in there. And we don't bother doing anything with it. So when it's tea time, we just get a ladle and ladle it onto the plate. And there is nothing more to be done than for you to put the knives and forks out and get everyone around the table. So we've got some potato on the bottom and we've popped some liver in, we've rolled the bacon, put it on top, dumped some onions in there as well, finish it off with a layer of potatoes. And the final thing, just a bit of liquid. It's easy liver and bacon casserole, so I've literally just bought Tub of Bisto, put a few scoops of that in there, added some hot water, giving it a stir, get the consistency you want it to be, because remember with a slow cooker, nothing thickens up, it'll stay at the same consistency you put it in at. So this is a, a fairly thick gravy, and I'm just going to pour this in over my mixture. Now I'm just going to pick up the camera and show you inside now so you can see. So there it is. It's just starting to bubble away because I preheated the slow cooker while I was just preparing the vegetables. So all you need to do now, pop the lid on and leave it for several hours. It won't overcook. So if you want to eat it at five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, that's fine. Just pop it in a low setting. It uses no more energy than a light bulb. How safe is that as well? Thanks very much for sending a letter in, Nick. I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a lovely day.